So problem number two, solve an additive multi-step word problem using a tape diagram modeled with a tape diagram and check the reasonableness of the answer using estimation. The shop sold 12,789 chocolate and 9,324 cookie dough cones. It sold 1,078 more peanut butter cones than cookie dough cones and 999 more vanilla cones than chocolate cones. What was the total number of ice cream cones sold? So box in what? All right, so let's go ahead and set up our tape diagram. So first we know that the shop sold 12,789 chocolate. Next we know that there were 9,324 cookie dough. So now we need to find out how many peanut butter cones and vanilla cones were sold. So we know if we look back up at the problem, it says 1,078 more peanut butter cones than cookie dough cones. So we know there's going to be at least 9,324, and then you're going to add 1,078 to get your total peanut butter cones. And then look back in your problem, and you know there were 999 more vanilla cones sold than chocolate cones. So then we know there's going to be at least 12,789 vanilla plus 999. And then we need to get a total, and our question mark will be our unknown quantity, which is called our variable. Everybody say variable. So first, let's go ahead and figure out how many vanilla cones we had. So we had 12,789 chocolate cones, and there were 999 more vanilla cones sold. So let's go ahead and add in our ones column first. 9 plus 9 gives me a sum of 18. So you put the 8 in the ones column, and you carry the 1 to the tens column. Next, let's add our tens column. 8 plus 1 plus 9 will give me a sum of 18. So put the 1 in the hundreds and the 8 in the tens. Next we move to our hundreds column. 7 plus 9 plus 1 will give me a total sum of 17. So put the 1 in the thousand and the 7 in the hundreds. Next we move to our thousands column. 1 plus 2 gives me a sum of Three. And then finally, there's a one in our ten thousands. So we know that there is a total of 13,788 vanilla cones. So let's go ahead and show this in our tape diagram. The total is 13,788 vanilla cones. So next, let's go ahead and figure out how many peanut butter cones we had. So we know there's 9,324 plus 1,078. So first we start in our ones column. 4 plus 8 gives me a sum of 12. So put your 1 in your tens column and your 2 in your ones column. Next, let's add your tens column. 1 plus 2 plus 7 gives me a sum of 10. So put your 1 in your hundreds and your 0 in your tens. Then we move to our hundreds column. 1 plus 3 gives me a sum of Four. And then finally we move to our thousands column. Nine plus one gives me a sum of ten. So we know that there are 10,402 peanut butter cones sold. So finally, what was the total number of ice cream cones sold? So we're going to have to add our chocolate, cookie dough, peanut butter, and vanilla to get our total sum. So let's go ahead and start in our ones column. 9 plus 4 plus 2 plus 8 gives me a sum of 23. So put our 3 in our ones column and carry our 2 to our tens column. Next, let's add our tens column. 2 plus 8 plus 2 plus 8 gives me a sum of 20. So put your 2 above your hundreds and your 0 below your tens. Next, let's add our hundreds. 2 plus 7 plus 3 plus 4 plus 7 gives me a sum of 
23. So put our 3 in our hundreds and carry our 2 to our thousands. Next, let's go ahead and add our thousands. 2 plus 2 plus 9 plus 3 gives me a sum of 16. So put our 1 above our 10 thousands and our 6 in our thousands. Finally, let's add our thousands column. 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 will give me a sum of 4. So our total sum is 46,303. So finally, we have to check for reasonableness using estimation. So 12,789 rounded to the nearest thousands place would give me an estimation of Circle your thousands place, underline the digit to the right. Is the underlined digit 5 or greater? Yes. So the circle digit changes to a 3. All the digits to the left stay the same. The circle digit changes to a 3. And then all the digits to the right of the circle digit turn to a 0. And then next, let's look at 9,324. So let's go ahead and circle our thousands place. Underline the digit to the right. Is the underlined digit uh, 5 or greater? No, it is less than 5. So we know that the 9 stays the same, and all the digits to the right turn to a 0. Next, let's look at 10,402. Go ahead and circle your thousands place. Underline the digit to the right. Is the underlined digit... Four or less, yes, so the circle digit stays the same. All the digits to the left stay the same. And all the digits that are underlined and to the right turn to a zero. And then finally, let's look at 13,788. Go ahead and circle your thousands place. Underline the digit to the right. Is the underlined digit five or greater? Yes, so the three will change to a four. All the digits to the left stay the same. All the digits to the right turn to a zero. Let's go ahead and add this up. And you'll notice that while I did that, my I lined all my places up. So my ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, and ten thousands. So I'm able to add my places up. So my ones column would equal a sum of zero. My tens column would give me a sum of zero. My hundreds column would give me a sum of zero. Then let's go ahead and add my thousands column. Nine plus three plus four will give me a sum of 16. So put your one in your 10,000 and your six in your thousands place. Then finally, let's add our 10 thousands place. One plus one plus one plus one will give me a sum of four. So we can see that 46,000 is very close to 46,303. So yes, this is a reasonable answer. So look back at the problem. Did we solve? Yes. Did we model with the tape diagram? Yes. And did we check for reasonableness of the answer using estimation? Yes, we are complete. Thanks for watching.